in, you gotta push. So we have to finish installing the remaining grommets here. And then this guy just snaps on. And then you use a, because this rivet is now NLA, you need to use a, a four or five millimeter, it's preferred five millimeter rivet. Put it in between both of these and pull, and you should be in good shape to have this thing held in place. And then you can start installing the quarter window trim. One of the most satisfying sounds in the world. So this is where it starts getting fun. We start talking about all the details. So we have our orange piece and we have our black trim. Now, um, a lot of people get really lazy and they don't paint this separately. And I think that that's a travesty when you're doing a restoration. So it's so easy to, to remove the, the trim and replace them with brand new clips because you're going to destroy them when you remove them. And there's five of them. Part number is going to be down in the description. But these guys are pivotal for reassembling this whole thing. And after you paint the trim or do whatever you have, whatever you want, this guy just sits right inside there. And the way that this trim adheres is by pushing these guys in, they snap into the side, and then you use a pair of pliers to push the pin through and expand the rivet on the back side, and then these guys just click in. Now this is the exact way that they need to be installed. Where are you? There you are. So just keep that in mind. That's the way that they need to be installed. There's a little bit of a clip right there, and that clip needs to be facing uh, inward or out that way. And then uh, when you have that all installed, you take this and you push it in. Okay, so now when you have it all lined up, the idea with the lining up is that you have this flat plate lined up with the bottom of the trim, and then everything should fit to the curvature nicely. And then you install it and snap in the pieces just like that. Okay, all you gotta do is kind of clean it up, but this is it. So in this case, you've got your clips. This guy is gonna go into here. Don't forget to get new clips. These three are a certain part number and then this grommet here is a different part number. All the part numbers are down in the description. And once you've got them all kind of like fixed in place, just like that, you gotta take a look at it, make sure that they're all all these guys are sitting in, in place here. Then you can kind of give it a little. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So now comes the fun part, and that's this big guy. This happens to be a brand new OEM piece. It was shipped in a box bigger than this. Um, but whenever you're doing a replacement or paint job or something like that, and this piece needs to come off, it's really not that hard. It just takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of technique. Because this is brand new, it requires these little clips. Okay, these clips actually install down the A-pillar side and they sit inside of the here. And what they do is they grip on the body side right here. And without it, what's gonna happen is the trim's just gonna fly out and it's gonna kinda come out like that maybe when you're driving or maybe not, but it's definitely gonna come out and you need these clips. If you're replacing trim with other trim um, from an old used car, then you probably won't need to deal with that. Those clips are probably inside of there somewhere. You just need to look. In this case, we have to put them in. And push it in, just enough. You take a screwdriver and then you click it in, watch. Ah, oh, it felt good. It sounded good and it felt good. And you want to put one more right there. Ready? Listen to that. Ready? Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so this is like a chicken and egg scenario here with this black piece. This is a trim piece that connects the 
C-pillar trim with the rest of the, the, the trim that we're about to install. And the, the key to this is that um, there's a left side and the right side because it flares out to meet the actual bigger size of this. This is actually smaller here. But the key here is that you need to put this on first. Why? Because it actually installs and then it slides over. So put it on here, then you install your trim piece, and then you slide this guy over to connect everything together and it looks like a really nice, uh, nice slick setup. So we're gonna kind of guess here about where this is gonna live. I think that it's gonna be close because this is kind of dictating where it should be, but it kind of goes in sideways first and clips over the rain gutter. When you clip it over the rain gutter, it kind of comes down on its own. And then this angle here then dictates where this is gonna sit. So right now I see that this is probably a little bit too far back. So if I can just lift it up just a tiny bit, scoot it over just a tiny, and then put it back down, I now can get it in. And this is where the key comes, is that now that we've got these clips installed on the black trim on the inside, we can just hit it, just like that. One, two, and this guy is now installed. So now let's put the centerpiece on here, zoom in. This guy's gonna sit just like that, and then this slides over it, just like that. Okay, just a little bit of cleanup, and we are good to go. To install this trim, you need three of these clips. Part number down in the description. And there's a, there's a, this part needs to go in first. You put that on, get the tab in here, and then you click it in. You can't really click it in because we don't have any clips installed yet. So the configuration of the clips is like this. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to do two more. So I'm going to put one like this. Let me do one down here as well. Okay. Push them in nice and good. And then I'm going to need two hands to install this. First, get this tab to sit inside and then you got to push. A very satisfying click. And this guy is definitely in. So unfortunately, we can't install the rest of the trim that I'd really like to install, which is this guy here which uses those same clips as here. This guy here, which is super easy. And then of course the quarter window takes, has all the trim already on it. So there's really not much work there. So that would take care of all the trim for the entire car, except the front and the rear windshield. That'll be a whole nother video. So having said that, let's go on ahead and tighten up those air jacks with the special tool that we got. Then we'll get the side skirts on, we'll get the fenders on, and then we can start working on the inside. All right, so I don't really care too much about the rear because I've already installed the rear and I can tighten it up anytime, but I can't tighten up anytime the fronts. So this is the tool here and this goes in just like any old piece. Actually, go like this because I'm going up. And you just kind of give it a good tug. So both of these on the both sides are done and now we can start installing the fenders because the fenders have to get installed first and then the side skirts. All right, so the fender's installed. I've got all of the hardware here. I've got one additional one here. I got one here and I got two on the inside. I'm leaving everything loose because this, this movement is good. It means I have room to play with to align the hood, to align the bumper. Um, so I'm just gonna leave everything loose right now. Just make sure that everything is tight. It also helps to allocate which hardware is gonna, go, is gonna belong where and not to have to use it for a different application later. It's the right hardware in the right space. Okay. Get it up, line up at least one of them. Okay, I'm gonna try hiding that lump there. And it's gonna go right there, like that. Tighten that down like, just like that. Get this guy settled, stick it in. And go through it, just like this. And make sure that this is clipped inside of it. And then just start screwing. And as you compress these two together, it holds this black clip on the lip of the frame rail, on the rocker, and it's in. Just do it five more times.
Well, unfortunately, because it took us a lot longer to install all the details of the wiring harness, where it needs to route all using all the clips, um, it took us a little longer. So we're going to end here and we're going to pick up on the next episode, which will be after Thanksgiving. And we're going to end up picking up with the carpet installation. We're going to do wheels and tires. Hopefully the subframes will be back and we can actually start really sinking our teeth into um, getting this car looking like a car again. A car again. So guys, thanks a lot. My name is Frank from Garageaholic. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.